So everyone seems to be excited about the prohibitable trade that, uh, that just landed in Laravel. Uh, this was contributed by Jason McQuarrie, which is a, a well-known figure in the Laravel community. And in this video, we will take a look at what the, the trait is, what the, this new feature is, what it does, and how we can use it. So if you jump uh, into the code, uh, I have here a fresh new Laravel installation. And if we go to App Service Provider, so this is the place where we can uh, safeguard uh, our production environment. So if we go here, we can add into the boot method the DB prohibit destructive commands and we pass in a boolean which uh, this will become true if the environment is in production so let's just grab this and paste it here and then just go into the env file And here we can just set the env to production and see if this works. So this should not allow us to uh, run uh, certain commands. So for example, php artisan migrate fresh. Uh, so it just exited the command without running it. Uh, if we don't use this and we are in production, if we try to run the command, Laurel have this uh, protection, so it shows you this prompt, ask you if you want to run the command, we can say yes or no. But if we use the new feature, uh, the prohibited destructive commands, it will just exit the command without uh, giving you a choice if you want to run uh, that command in production okay so this works this is great but now if we want to use this uh, new trait prohibited into our uh, commands let's see how we can do that so we will just create a new command and inside this command inside this class we have to specify use prohibited. Now, into the handle, uh, we can now check. I think it's uh, prohibit or is prohibited yes okay now in app service provider we can specify the command and prohibit and again we can specify uh, the boolean which is checking if uh, is in production or not. So now if we go and try to run our, our newly created command, uh, let's see the signature. And again, just exits with uh, a warning that the command is prohibited from running in this environment. Yeah, so this is the new feature. I think it's very useful and I will uh I can't wait to to use it in in production